Hi there. Welcome to another guitar time. Um, say hello to Sweetie. She is my nylon string acoustic. She is one of the most beautiful instruments I've ever played. She has such a wonderful mellow sound. She's easy to play. Great action. Built-in electronics including tuner. Last January, my wife had both her knees replaced, and I took care of her a lot while she was convalescing. This was her thank you gift to me. My very first guitar was a nylon acoustic like this, and I've been wanting another one ever since I learned that I could play guitar again. Why I can and why I couldn't for a while is another story, is a story for another day. But Sweetie here has a problem. See, okay, let me, let me try this again. See that? That guitar hanging on the hook? That's one of our project guitars. That's one that we're going to be working on. And uh, it's hanging on a hook that's up there right behind me. Well, last week, I had Sweetie hanging up there, and something happened. She got bumped, and she fell off the wall. She landed right on her bottom end and cracked right there, all the way from the edge on up to the bridge. The crack definitely goes all the way through and uh, after talking with my guitar expert, yeah, I got to do something about this. He said that he could fix it for me for $120, which I don't have and he knows that. So he told me how to fix it myself with some wood glue and a few tools. So that's what we're going to be doing in this video. We're going to be repairing this crack. And I want to get to it right away because even with the bridge there, there's no guarantee that it's not going to continue all the way up here and split the whole instrument in half and ruin it. I do not want that to happen to this guitar. I absolutely love it. And uh, the way I got it is pretty special to me too. So let's Rescue my girl. One of the big problems I had trying to prepare for this project is figuring out where to put this thing because once I glue it, it needs to dry for about three days. This is our all-purpose carport. At one time or another, we've had just about everything in here except a car. And I discovered this thing. Let me zoom the correct direction here and maybe you can see it. This is actually a scuba tank rack that we built to carry our tanks in a vehicle that we no longer have. It doesn't fit in our new one, so it's just been sitting here. So what I need is something like this that will raise the instrument up so that C-clamp has room underneath it to hold things together without bumping into something. Uh, this is enough, this should be enough space for that to work. So we have all kinds of weird stuff here including some of the screws sticking up like that. So the next step is to protect my baby from scratches. A simple towel should take care of that. And there it is. Now let's take a look at the tools I'll be using for this. We're pretty basic here. We have the glue, of course. And I got a little brush. I don't know how well you can see this. But it's got a fairly nice tip on it. And I'll be using that to apply the glue so that it can fit into that little tiny crack. Got our C-clamp because when it cracked, one side moved up higher than the other. 
so what I need to do is put the glue in the crack then the C-clamp will push it down so that they're level again and that is where we'll set it for the three days. I have this microfiber cloth that I'm going to use to help protect the finish from this C-clamp. Obviously I can't do this with one hand or I would show you. And then lots of paper towels to clean up all the extra glue that I'm hoping I won't have a whole lot of but uh, I tend to be a bit of a klutz so better to be prepared with this gigantimous roll and not need it than make an ungodly mess and not have the materials to clean it up and end up with my guitar being a gluey mess. So here we go. I changed my mind about one thing instead of just using that microfiber cloth to protect the finish I realized I'm gonna be clamping this thing all the way across here and so what I'm gonna want is a couple of pieces of something to put the clamp on that will both protect the finish and spread out the pressure so I have some of this stuff whatever you call it and uh, it should do the job. It's nice and thin but it's also nice and sturdy and so I need two pieces about that big. So I have a super fine blade in my jigsaw so let's make a couple of pieces. As I said, according to my precise measurements, I need a piece about that big. So, let's take the jigsaw, about that, that big, it's going to be a little bit extra there, okay, like that. I will probably leave a little bit of extra, simply because it's always easier to remove more than it is to try to put some back on. And we're back with a longer cord. Let's see if we can finish this, shall we? I'll take that as a yes. Now, Take this piece. Yeah. It's. I don't really need a uh, video game weapon, so I'll go ahead and cut the point off of this. And then I'll just split this in half, and that should give me what I need. You like my nice clean surface here? Yeah. My backyard is roughly the size of the average two-car garage, and there are eight 40-foot trees in it. That never stop shedding. So, we deal with it. Okay, next step is going to be to get set up and actually do the gluing. I've prepared for this in every way that I can. So, it's D-Day for Sweetie. I'm going to put the C-clamp on first, just to make sure everything's in position when I put the glue on. So, that means I gotta make it bigger, first of all. This one goes under there like that, and the clamp goes over the whole mess. Now we need to scooch over like that. All right, that's in position. The crack is right there, I can see it there. If I push this side down a little bit, I can expose it and that's where I'll be putting the glue. 
My dad had a wonderful expression for moments like this. He said, I feel as nervous as a long-tailed cat in a room full of rocking chairs. That's about how I'm feeling right now. I confess I am really nervous, borderline scared, that I'm going to screw this up. But it's got to be done. And, uh, yeah. So, let's get to it. Okay, I can't put this off any longer. My nerves are all over the place, but it's time to do this. As another guitarist that I really admire said, ain't nothing to it but to do it. If you don't know that reference, uh, yeah, that was Floyd the guitarist from the Muppet band, The Electric Mayhem. So. Here we go. I have the glue on the brush, expose the crack, and we'll start dabbing the glue in there. I'm going to need a lot more than that. I'm just using the basic Gorilla Wood Glue here. That was what Ron recommended. He said just just get, actually he said Elmer's, but I prefer the Gorilla. Um, simply because, yeah. If you've seen some of my story times, yeah. Yeah, Elmer's Glue reminds me of school. And school wasn't very pleasant for me. So, I'll pass on that. Thank you. All right. The glue is in there as best I can get it with this brush. So, it's time to tighten this up. Ever so carefully. Some of the crack it really isn't trying to is trying not to cooperate, but okay, just a hair more. I can feel the edge there. Good. All right. Let's wipe off the excess. This is what I was afraid of. This stuff really doesn't want to like to come off. But I got the majority of it. The crack is sitting level with itself now and it has the glue in it. And now comes everybody's favorite part. We wait. I'll see you in three days. Well, here we are. It's three days later. The glue has had plenty of time to dry. So let's take a look and see how it came out. You notice my sign here. I can say my family has been super diligent in staying away and uh, not touching or taking a chance of bumping or anything like that major major thanks to them so we'll start by taking this off once again I'm too smart to use a tripod there we go alright let's take it inside and take a closer look well, here it is. So, overall, it looks pretty good. Right up here, it looks like my clamp overshot it a bit. I've got a little overhang there, but along here, it's just 
almost perfect. So I still have a little bit of glue residue so I'm going to use my Microsiris cloth with a little of uh, what a friend of mine used to call the universal solvent which is to say spit. Believe it or not if you want a really good solvent it's right there inside your mouth. Spit cuts through so many different things. I learned that one time when I was working on a cassette tape recorder for someone and it looked to me like the tape head was destroyed and so I was preparing to order another one a friend of mine took it spit on it rubbed it several times and it came out looking like new needless to say I learned something that day I also learned that is infinitely useful for scuba divers like me because people will spend up to ten twelve dollars for some stuff to put in their mask to keep it from fogging up spit works just as well and it's free okay we're all cleaned up here and as I said it looks like we're a little bit off here but the crack is glued in. I have no movement at all between the two parts. I know what I did wrong. When I was setting the clamp, I just used the back end of one of my tools to try and feel where the crack was. What I should have done was wipe off the excess glue and eyeball it. Uh, so if you ever find yourself in this situation, do as I just said, not as I just did. The goal was not so much to make it absolutely pretty as to prevent further damage and make this solid so it doesn't maybe eventually start rattling and destroy the guitar's sound. So the next step is let's see how it sounds. Until next time.